slide 45, lesson 3, special letters in front of words. There are a number of letters that when added to the start of a word modify its meaning as follows. We have a word plus a modifying letter and we get a modified meaning. Let's look at an, at an example. In English, when we want to say the boys, we have a separate word, the, which we add to the word boys, that is, the boys. In Hebrew, we don't have a separate word, the. We simply have a letter that we add. That's the letter He, seen here with a ptach underneath it. It also may have a kamitz underneath it as well or something else, but it's a letter hey. So we have our word, and we add the modifying letter hey, and we get the modified meaning. For example, the word yaladim, which can mean boys or children, yaladim, plus the letter hey, and we get the modified meaning, ha yaladim, the children, or the boys. Ha yaladim. So the word yalad means child or boy, and yaladim means children or boys. Yaladim, it's a plural. And ha yaladim means the boys or the children. There are other letters that we that have other meanings. And we'll have a look at those in this lesson. In the first half of the lesson, we'll just look at these two, the hay and the vav. The hay means the, and the vav, when put in front of a letter, or in front of a word, means and. And in the second part of the lesson, we'll have a look at the bait, the lamad, the kaf, the mem, and the shin, which mean the bait means in or on by or with the lamad means to or for the cuff means like or as or according to the mem means from and the shin means that or which so when we put these letters in front of the word they change its meaning slightly so let's have a look at some examples Slide 46, Lesson 3, Special Letters in Front of Words, The Definite Article Hey or The. Here we have our word plus the modifying letter Hey, which means The, and we get the modified meaning, The, something or other. For example, we take the word Yard, which means Hand, Yud, Kamitz, Dalit, and we get, and we add the hay, and we get ha yard, the hand, ha yard, the hand. Let's have a look at another one. The word for land in Hebrew, Eretz, Aleph, Resh. Final Tzade, with two seagulls underneath it, Eretz, and we add the hay, ha, the, and we get ha, aretz, the land, ha, aretz. Notice how the seagull under the aleph has been lengthened from a, a e sound to an a sound. Haaretz. Now we're not going to get into how that happens, but that's what it does. Let's have a look at the plurals. If we have the word Yaladim, which means boys or children, male children, boys, and we add the hay, we get the children. 
Ha yellow ding. No boys, that children. Ha yellow ding. And uh, we have the word for spies. Meruglim. From the root word, ragel. Raish, gimel, lamed. Ragel is uh, foot. And spies kind of tread out on foot and look at the land. So this word spies is derived from the word for foot, regal. Maruglim, spies. We add the hay and we get Hamaruglim, the spies. Hamaruglim. So here we have the letter hay being added to these words, both singular and plurals, and it changes the word from the singular indefinite to the singular definite. Definite just means it's the something or other as opposed to a something or other. It's indefinite. So, hey, just means the. And um, it, there are some words that have a hey in front of them that don't mean the. But we'll learn all the exceptions and so on and so forth as we go along. But you can tell from context. And um, most often when we have a hey in front of the word, it does mean the. Or it introduces a question. That's something we'll look at in later lessons. So ha. The. Slide 47. Lesson 3. Special letters in front of words. The conjunction vav, which means and or but. When we add the letter vav in front of a letter, oh sorry, a word, we mean and something or other. For example, the word for servant, evid, when we add the vav, means and a servant. A servant. The evid and a servant. If we take the word man or a man, ish, and we add the vav, we get the ish and a man. If we take the word for the man, ha ish, ha ish, the man, and we add a vav, we get the ha ish and the man the ha ish and the man we take the word for woman isha isha alaf shin hey and we add the vav we get the isha the isha and a woman if we take the word ha isha, the woman, and we add the vav, we get the ha isha and the woman. The ha isha. So we can see the vav when added to a word means and. And if the word already had a hay in front of it, meaning the, the vav just means and the, or the vav plus the hay means and the, whatever the word is. So if we have the word ish, and we add a hay to it, it becomes, changes from a man, an indefinite word, to a definite article, a definite word, the man. We add the 
Vav to it means and the man. The Vav just means and.